Welcome back to Ashen in Focus. The Ashen Integration Economic Blueprint envisions the establishment of a single market and production base, a highly competitive economic region, a region of equitable economic development, and a region fully integrated into the global economy. Among the components identified are improved market access within the region, investment facilitation, establishment of a single aviation market, and financial integration. Financial integration involves the banking sector and the financial markets. In this connection, there is a need to look into the condition of the Philippine banking sector and financial markets. To help us tackle the challenges of the Asian economic integration, we are honored this afternoon to have with us in the program one of the foremost economists of the country, the former Director General of the National Economic and Development Authority and former Social Economic, Economic Planning Minister. He is a former member of the Monetary Board of the Banco Central ng Pilipinas. He has his PhD in economics at the prestigious Stanford University, where he also served as a university fellow in the 1970s. He is also a full professor of the University of the Philippines and served also as a visiting professor of the Kobe University in Japan in 2010. He is currently the chairperson of the Development Academy of the Philippines. My boss he is a distinguished Mr. Cayetano Padaranga. Good afternoon, sir. Thank you very much, uh, Loy. Okay. Uh, we, we go directly to the questions. Uh, the first question is, uh, is the Philippine economy ready for Asian economic integration? Well, uh, in, in some sense, uh, you're never ready for change. Asian okay. economic integration will uh, change some of the fundamental ways by which we do business and trade okay. with our Asian neighbors. Mm -hmm. In that sense, as many people would rather stay with the status quo. Okay. So, Stay but within their comfort zones. We stay in their <laughs> comfort zones, but at the same time, there's a lot of promise in okay. having a much bigger market, okay. having more access to resources, okay. exactly okay. what you had said earlier. Yeah. And this is the promise of, the, uh, of ASEAN okay. economic integration. So there's really no turning back at this point? Well, uh, the way we do things in the ASEAN is mm -hmm. we agree to agree. Yeah. And <laughs> I think that the agree to agree has already been done. Mm -hmm. We are now working on the details. Okay, okay. We would like to bring our relationship with our neighbors mm -hmm. at the economic level on, mm -hmm. on a higher mm -hmm. uh, plane. Yeah. And this is where every, where, what everybody is looking forward to. Okay. One of the areas that needs to be addressed, of course, is our financial market. So what, is, what are the implications of Asian integration to our Philippine financial markets? Uh, financial integration actually means that um, funds Capital okay. and money funds okay. can flow more easily across borders. Okay. Okay. And there are several levels. You have long-term capital funds. Okay. This would be foreign direct investment, mm -hmm. including the facilitation of that. Okay. Then you have shorter term funds flowing. Mm -hmm. And then you have the trading funds, which okay. up to now has been done uh, to a very large extent among banks. Mm -hmm. And then you have then this issue of or the area where people can deposit in other countries much more easily. Yeah. Yeah. So the integration of this means that you are essentially looking at one large financial market. Okay. Although before people think where they will deposit, I yeah. <laughs> uh, by nature, central bankers tend to be cautious. Okay. And uh, it's just the nature of their work. So oh. I would think or I would expect that uh, the details mm -mm the steps that will be taken mm -hmm. will be closely watched by mm -hmm. the central banks mm -hmm. of the region mm -hmm. and they will there will be a lot of discussions and things mm -hmm. will move in a gradual mm -hmm. if uh, inexorable manner but it will be uh, they will have to think because uh, central bankers are always worried mm -hmm. about uh, big you know big mm -hmm. changes and mm -hmm. therefore shocks and disasters mm -hmm. So do you think our central bank is really ready for, for the integration, the implications of the integration? Well, well things are going to be, there, there will be changes in the mm -hmm. regulations, the mm -hmm. standards, mm -hmm. and this, this will be discussed uh, mm -hmm. with, our, with the other central banks in the region, mm -hmm. and that will probably st uh, proceed step by step. What about our commercial banks, our commercial well, banking sector? Yeah, the commercial banks, I'm sure, will be looking forward to easier ways of doing business, mm -hmm. uh, going across borders much more easily. But mm -hmm. at the same time, they will also have to uh, consider the fact that mm -hmm. that will also be true of other banks coming into yeah. the Philippines. Mm -hmm. This is all true, true of the capital markets. Mm -hmm. The ideal or 
the long-term ideal of capital market integration is mm -hmm. that a Filipino can just buy a bond mm -hmm. in the mm -hmm. uh, Thai um, yeah. financial market and vice versa. So, uh, in a sense, the, uh, companies can also raise bonds and mm -hmm. sell their stocks in other mm -hmm. uh, stock exchanges and financial markets mm -hmm. in the ASEAN. This will make it will make it easy for the mm -hmm. resources to flow mm -hmm. between countries, and this will always be good. Mm -hmm. But of course, there will be transition costs. Yeah. Um, the markets have to be ready. They mm -hmm. they have to standardize their rules, mm -hmm. and they also have to know that at least at the very start, they may not be able to predict exactly where the funds will flow and mm -hmm. there might be some momentary shocks yeah. that people will have to be careful about. Yeah. You were talking about foreign direct investments. So what are our chances for increased foreign direct investments when ASEAN integration comes? Well, people say that uh, it's, ours is small. Yeah. Ours is mm -hmm. small relative to mm -hmm. some of the mm -hmm. comparison countries that mm -hmm. we would want, Indonesia, mm -hmm. Thailand, mm -hmm. for example. Um, even Vietnam, I think. Um, yeah. At the same time, since ours are small, there is no other place to go but up. Okay. And uh, <laughs> there are many suggestions as to how to bring that, uh, mm -mm. pick it up. Mm -mm. And most of the suggestions really have something to do with the way we do business here in the Philippines. Mm -mm. The rules that we have for investors, not just foreign investors, mm -mm. including domestic investors. Uh, the regulations mm -mm. and all of the permits and licenses mm -mm. that they have to get. Mm -hmm. Apparently, in the Philippines, it's a relatively long process yes. relative to we some really need comparator to do something countries. about that. Yes. And, and do you think the government is doing enough to, you know, to ease access? Um, well, to uh, having been there. Yeah. <laughs> yes, you were there. <laughs> I, I, I know that at least this administration and maybe the other administrations okay. have been trying to do that. But, you know, when once there is a code or sets of rules, yes, yes. you don't just change one mm -hmm. and think, Mm -mm. that uh, that will be enough mm -mm -mm. you have to start thinking about what are the other rules that are going to be affected so it actually takes long and tedious as mm -hmm. well as very detailed efforts to do that and it takes a long time well, what about the urgency i don't think we have the the uh, you know the luxury of uh, taking the process longer anymore that's true <laughs> uh, in fact uh, i suppose for our own domestic investors mm -mm. the comfort is that the everybody including mm. the government including local governments mm. will have to do things at a faster clip because yes. otherwise the funds are going to go somewhere else yes, yes. even our own funds mm -hmm. will go somewhere else if it's easier to do business in the other parts of the ASEAN so do you think we're doing enough to you know to facilitate access right now because it's 2015 already well, and well. the investors are coming in <laughs> fortunately i'm no longer in government you have to ask <laughs> no, I, i'm just kidding but uh the you, you you know you can always do things better i mean okay. it can but i i think there's an honest effort to try mm. to improve mm. things mm -mm. we have i think the national competitiveness council has mm -mm. been looking at all of this and mm -mm. then finding out what can be done away with including mm -mm. I think starting this year, mm -mm. already publishing uh, and ranking cities according mm -mm -mm. to business friendliness. And the ease of doing business. Yeah, uh, all of okay. those things. Okay. And now people will be benchmarked mm -mm. against each other. I think, that, I think that's going to make a very big difference mm -mm. in the way people behave. Mm -mm. I would just like to reiterate a previous uh, matter we discussed earlier. How do the Philippines financial services sector fare? when they compete with those in the other ASEAN member states. You were saying, in fact, that our banks are smaller? Uh, well, uh, actually, with, uh, if you look at uh, normal indicators mm -hmm. that are often asked, mm -hmm. like uh, the NPL, non-performing yeah, loans ratios, NPAs, the mm -hmm. capital as adequacy ratios, mm -hmm. and so on, actually, our banks look good. OK. I mean, they're essentially mm -hmm. closed mm -hmm. uh, at the norm, it may okay, be okay. a little bit above. Um, the difference, I think, or the issue that we may have to look for, look at, is mm -hmm. the size. Yes, the size. Um, in in business as well as in yeah. other things, all other things being equal, size can be a big difference. Uh, 
And individually, so, our banks are relatively smaller compared our, to our neighbors. Our banks are smaller, uh -huh. and that's also related, if mm -hmm. not uh, very closely intertwined to the fact that our companies also tend to be smaller. Our companies are smaller. Tend, even yeah. our big companies even are smaller. Even our big companies don't really stand out when you look at the ASEAN picture. Uh, okay, okay. Um, so this is related, again, also to the size of our American, capital markets. Okay. Okay. It has something to do about the opportunities that have been mm -hmm. here in the Philippines in the last mm -hmm. few decades mm -hmm. and also related to the um, uh, resources that mm -hmm. we have been able to mobilize. Yes, yes. This one could actually um, improve with the opening up, being okay. able to go cross-border, okay. but that would mean that we would be left behind if we don't move fast. So we should really move fast? I think uh, the we there is need now to look at what are the steps that will be done. Okay. I'm, I'm sure the government is mm -hmm. already looking at this and yeah. is trying to find out. Let's pray that what the government should be doing something about this. <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> like you, I'm a very prayerful man. Yeah. <laughs> okay, one final question. What does this all mean, I mean, the financial services sector integration? What does this all mean to the common Filipino? Ah, okay. If we are able to do things right, in fact. Mm -hmm. no, I mean, the whole, the whole basis for going into this mm -hmm. is that in the end it will be better for everybody. Yes. Okay. Uh, in fact, business will become stronger, all okay. business. The, for the people, the consumers, there will be more variety of goods mm -hmm. and they will be better quality, lower mm -mm. Uh, prices because mm -mm. now you have many choices. And then but investments. Then investments also will have many places. If you're an investor, if you have yeah. cash and you have the whole ASEAN instead of just the Philippines, then okay. you can choose the areas where the, you have uh, better returns. Okay. Um, of course, there's a tra going to be a transition mm -hmm. cost. Mm -hmm. Our own productive uh, mm -hmm. enterprises mm -hmm. will have to go head to head mm -hmm. with the product of other countries, and this is mm -hmm. true of almost all the mm -hmm. things. And there will be a strengthening, but also mm -hmm. a winnowing out of the yes. weaker ones. Okay. In the end, we hope we will have bigger companies, yes. more products, better quality, and consumers being better off. But going from here to there, to mm -hmm. there requires some transition, and there will be transition costs. And I think that's where we have to be yes. ready. Okay. We have to know how to mitigate the adverse impacts. Mm -mm. At the same time, help our own businessmen and consumers mm -mm. with uh, regard on, on the shocks okay. that they're going to feel. Okay, thank you very much, Dr. Cayetana Padiranga, the chairperson of the Development Academy of the Philippines, and we hope to see you again tomorrow. Yeah, thank you very much. Yes, I'm looking forward to that.